Hello my friend, it is I, Vadim. How are you doing? These are my recommendations for anyone who is planning to build a new gaming PC with Ryzen 5 5600X. For this build I picked components that are high quality as well as good performance per dollar ratio. So you will be able to build yourself a good looking PC for less. Of course at the heart of it all is 5600X. If you ask me, I personally think that this is the only CPU that you need for gaming and purely for gaming in 2020 or 2021 and beyond because it's just really, really good. If you are planning to do uh, some sort of Twitch streaming and uh, uh, other productive work, then you may need a better, more expensive CPU with more cores. But purely for gaming, this is perfect. For a motherboard I chose MSI B550A Pro because it has a lot of good things going for it. Let's have a look. As you can see it has uh, heat sinks on all VRMs. Also an important thing is uh, there is a heat sink on the M.2 slot. And additional plus why I chose MSI over Asus or Gigabyte models uh, for the similar price is because this one has six system fan connectors on uh, this board and uh, <laughs> that means that you won't have to mess around and buy splitters or uh, fan hubs you can just plug everything in into this board and you don't need anything extra for memory i chose this simple g-skill ripjaws kit 16 gigabytes clocked at 3600 megahertz and it's a CL16. You can go for like a CL17 or 18 kit and save maybe 10 to 20 dollars, but I feel like uh, this would be a great option. When it comes to cases, I think that Fantex deserve a very high praise. For example, with this P400A case, it looks good uh, and it is perfect for working with when you're building a PC, especially for the first time. It has a tempered glass panel, it has a mesh front, which means that uh, it's not gonna throttle and overheat any of your components inside, and it looks pretty good. As you can see, a lot of space inside, although I must say that it comes with only two fans as standard for $70. So I really recommend you buy at least one extra fan to put at the front or if you if you want more then you can put one uh, at the top over there. That would be absolutely perfect. Depending on the GPU you may need less or more watts but it's up to you basically. Uh, I mean I'm doing this build uh, looking at buying RX 6800 GPU and I think this will be a perfect match for 5600X uh, Ryzen processor and uh, what you can get away with is 650 watts is going to be perfect $86 it will cover everything it will even cover you if you decide to overclock your CPU and GPU. For storage option I chose this Western Digital Blue SN550 M.2 drive. It connects uh, right into your motherboard and that's where you will uh, take advantage of that heat sink that comes with the motherboard. And um, it's just, uh, I just prefer these uh, uh, these storage options to SATA drives because it just looks cleaner, less um, less cables, it's nice. And um, I'm going for a SN550 just because the price is uh, has dropped for it, uh, but if uh, where you're buying it is, it is more expensive then I would also recommend going for just a regular WD Blue uh, one terabyte drive and I would go I would definitely go for one terabyte because the games are they're just they just take up so much space look at Fortnite look at uh, Call of Duty Warzone those are approaching like 
Warzone is approaching like 200 gigabytes on your drive, which is just insane. I mean, yeah, you can probably get away with um, 500 gigabytes as well, but um, it's just not as nice. If you can, if you can afford it, then definitely go for the one terabyte drive. For a cooler, I recommend two options. Either go for Arctic Freezer 34, for example, uh, this uh, black and white uh, cooler is $41. It has very good performance. The other option is Cooler Master Hyper 212 Black Edition, also around $40. And it looks great. You can save a bit of money and go for the cheaper, um, less attractive looking options, but I really like how this Cooler Master looks. Although I must say that uh, the prices are similar, and uh, even though this Arctic Cooler looks a bit worse, it performs slightly better than the Cooler Master. Just keep that in mind. When it comes to picking a GPU, I must say that I really recommend you wait for the RX 6800 or 6800 XT because that would be the perfect match for this CPU. But without that GPU, the whole setup will cost you $820. Plus if you add a $600 6800, I mean RX 6800 GPU, then it would be like $1400 plus dollars. That is all for now. If this video was helpful, leave a like, subscribe for more, and let me know in the comments below what do you think about the, this configuration and about Ryzen 5 5600X in general. It was I, Vadim, thank you for watching and have a nice day.